Hello and welcome my besties to yet another episode of Way of the Wyvern. Today with Salty U49.9, finally reaching the 50, soon at least. And the first match is against Neapolitan, a very strong Ragnar player. Quite a lot in ahead in, in terms of ELO compared to myself. And he's throwing us a great start already, pushing me in the corner, but luckily I'm able to get out. I get the counter hit, but get an unfortunate side swap and drop the combo. But I got out of the situation and put him in the corner myself. Using Infernal Divider was very good because I was about to, to use my common grab. This match is going in lightning speed, just how we Kagura mains like it. Rapid cancel to make Khan Scissors safe, but I catch his 6D with my 6B. I didn't know this was possible, or at least I don't know how practical that is, but maybe I should lap a combo for that. Very good from me catching his DP, but very greedy to go for the to go for the purpose throw, especially as it doesn't add any damage. He puts me in the corner with the standard Hellfangs combo. I get him again with my 2C, get a not so great combo in the end. Because I opted for the corner carry route and it wasn't good enough in this case. This was very good to get him out of the corner using the RC. And I'm blinking but just could Fafnir and if he blocked it I could have RC it so no problem there especially as he was in the air and then even late RC would be useful. So in the second match he he's using his DP a lot more to catch my air approaches, which is actually working out fairly well. This was an unfortunate drop. As again this would normally net me 4k damage. He I think he no he didn't, but he used it. just ate my 5C for using the RC on, on the Gauntlet Hades. And just tries to get out with the DP, but I stuff it with the 5C. And this nets me the round, only one round more and I would win. But he's off to a strong start. And he noticed in the last match that I'm not blocking his Gauntlet Hades. And as such he uses it a lot more. And I'm not sure about this combo to be honest, because spending 50 meter for 3.k damage and a bit of corner carry does not seem like it's worth it. But maybe that was a lifesteal combo. And with that he perfected me despite getting it. That's what Ragnar can do, and only Ragnar, and Celica. But yeah. Try to be sneaky with Archidaha, but get nothing. This was an early burst that I probably should have not done, because now I won't have it when I need it. I get a lucky JB that he had been checking all the time on my air approaches. Very good throw, again, he understands that I want to do JC more than anything else and adapts accordingly to stop my approaches and goes even with this round. Stuffing another air approach with Inferno Divider. I'm not even sure if that is so smart, 
because he could actually get more damage with 6a. But of course the DP is, is covering more options. So even if I were to attack from the ground, it would still work. So that's the advantage. See Fafnir reaching far enough, but Carnage Sizzle would have taken it out because he rapid cancelled for the combo extension. Didn't get it, but gets me with the Inferno Divider. Bye one. Still figuring things out here, but he gets another hit in. Again, I'm not so sure about this burst. Lots of jumping from me. And a very poor placed air Y1 gets, gets stuffed for 3.5k damage. I was expecting him to throw there, so I threw in advance. And I think he went for the throw and not for the throw escape. That was a good burst from him because he let me waste my meter. And yeah, he finishes and closes it out very convincingly with the 2-1. And next up I'm against Kitan 40 k You know him from the previous video where we had an intense Hakuman mirror. He's the GOAT. And he goes for his Lambda this time again in the first match and I go for Ragnar because I'm a content creator nowadays, but yeah, just because I felt like it and I wanted to use him for a while now. So let's see how this goes. I get a few hits in with Gauntlet Hades, putting in good damage, putting him in the corner. He's staying fairly passive. I sadly don't know what kind of uh, reversal option Lambda has, so I can't comment really on how he can get out there. What is essential in this matchup for any character is to stop this Gauntlet Hades because if you can't then Ragnar can just wail on you and that is exactly what I did. I caught the back dash with my instant air dash JC and get a fully placed 5D. You have to be very careful about this Chitin when placing your 5Ds because if your opponent can react and instant air dash over then you can eat a lot of damage. And I guess that is also why you're a little bit more on the passive side, which also doesn't have to be a bad thing. Recently I played Ray in the Blaze Bunuri Weekly and he was scouting me in the first match too and playing a lot more passive to find out what I do. And then completely demolished me afterwards. You will hopefully find this set soon on this channel, by the way in a new format, <laughs> teasing here. And meanwhile uh, Kitan is doing lots of work, he even blocked the Gauntlet Hades and because he jumped and I used JB he got out. Also pa still patient blocking. I get him here with the overhead 6B but he st still has a burst and I didn't bait it because I don't know how to bait. I had to burst here because it put me in a very tough spot. But he gets me with another 5D and closes out the round. Very good from Kitan, 40k here. Again, he's a GOAT. He will always remain the GOAT. Also reading me jumping in with an air grab. He didn't get the combo afterwards, but still, very good awareness. I get him with my low 6C, but made a complete waste in combo routing because I can't chain 5C and 3C into each other. He also dropped this combo. I'm blocking this in the air and his uh, throw approach was fairly easy to read because he was getting too close for, uh, for good spacing with Lambda, so I knew he were to throw.
puts me in a tough spot again. This time I'm not jumping, so he can open me up with the low. And he gets my jump out with his, with his X feet Axel. And so he takes the first game, and I'm a coward and didn't stick with the Ragnar. I might have done that if, if I was still in winners, but because I'm not in winners again, I went for the bang. Not the Kagura, the bang, because I still feel that bang can do this, especially as this matchup is said to be very advantageous for bang. Delaying the Phoenix Palm often works. And here I get an undeserved pickup. Nice overdrive attempt, but bangs, normals are not that susceptible to it unless you use 5C. Yeah, I try out a new combo route, but I still can't get the micro dash for the poison nail 5A to connect. Which is also something that you don't need when you're near enough to the corner, which is great. That's why I've been trying to use it. I'm never really sure what to do after a 2D counter hit. Here I get another attempt at this route, but I fail again. He clips me with his low, puts me into standard lambda pressure. He expect I don't didn't know what he expect after the 6A because I can only go low afterwards or go 5b, but both can be blocked low. Meanwhile he's putting me into huge pressure, gets me with the overhead, and this would kill, but he drops the combo, giving me another chance in this round. He counter assaulted, which is always pretty good for Zona characters like Lambda. But yeah, I took this round just because of this one drop, and now it's even. I get him in the corner fairly early on. So this is definitely a tough spot, because I believe both Lambda and Nu don't have that great of a defense. I often drop this, because I'm not accustomed to the changes the corner makes with Spang. But I get the, gra uh, the grab and the combo that kills, which is of course not optimal. None of the bank stuff is optimal, because I can't do most of his stuff and I haven't properly researched it. I will start researching his combo routes at some point down the line, but not now in the beginning where I'm just gonna have fun with him and see how far I can take him on my own. Another attempt at the combo route and I didn't get it. So you definitely see I'm the kind of guy who uses combos he's not very consistent with, just to learn them in pressure situation and I also believe this is a good way to learn stuff because you learn you learn more about how to act in scramble situations, which can be very helpful. So I've got him low on health right now. Got him with the low. This wasn't even a combo, so the burst wasn't really warranted there. But I answer with a bad burst myself. And la lastly get him with the godlike 3C. I have nothing more to say. This meme sums it all up. And next up I'm against Poised. We've played before in this setting and I didn't know how to pronounce him back then. But I know how to pronounce him now thanks to some streams. And speaking of streams, this was streamed on stage, okay, not on stage because it's an online event, but this was on the mainstream. This time hosted by Ray and Drive instead of the usual Ancestor and Healing Potato combo. And yeah, thanks, thank you two guys for stepping in, of course. 
Poise is doing a very good job in keeping me checked with his dagger pressures and the 3C that he's using too much, I've been told, in the Wednesday weeklies. But all in all, let's see how this goes. I'm still fighting back valiantly with the combination of Y1 and Y1. I love it. That was a momentum burst. I don't think I agree with that one. He gets me with his comment grab, which I'm very bad at dodging. That was a hero burst if I've ever seen one from me. So he takes the round with his super and I still had all the meter, which is also always sad. Get a beef half near, but nothing out of it. The very least in advantageous situation. He gets another common grab as I was blocking too patiently. All in all, I try to escape his fangs all the time and use, of course, my signature JC. <laughs> it means every Kagura's signature JC. Clash, but he's had two hits, so Hydra not enough to stop his super. He drops a combo, fortunately, but I didn't punish appropriately and could have lost the round, but JC hits his super in the air for whatever reason and I get this round. So we are in the last round of the first match. I go for the purple store but he is ready. Way more ready than I am for his grabs. Common grabs he always gets me. But he's reading me fairly well with my jump-ins and throwing my jump. Damida! But this time I escaped, which is great. From this kind of a stray Rahab I couldn't get that much, even if I was ready. I can cash out here. But it wouldn't kill, so I decided to go for B Orb. If I had a combo ready for the pickup, then I might have won this. But so he takes back this round and takes back, it takes the first match. So funny story. In this match here right now, uh, Ray lost the connection, and we had to wait a very long time because Poise to Discord died and he had to wait for a friend to give him the new lobby code. Definitely a momentum killer for him, which is great for me because Kagura is a momentum based character and I need all the momentum I can get for myself and as little as possible for my opponent. This far it's really helping me a lot. Could have probably gotten a pick up there, but Still gets around with my 2DA. And get his jump with my B Fafnir and get into a very advantageous position afterwards. Even getting the 4k damage. This time I get a pick up but I didn't get the combo afterwards. He had to burst and there's nothing that I could do in this situation about the burst because Kago was very susceptible to both overdrive and burst. So always good to save those for the right moment. So you don't get smacked like that. Y1! And yeah, I don't really know what he says when he doesn't say Y1, to be honest. Lots of good stagger pressure from him, but I make him respect me with my C Fafnir. 
And I think he wanted to overdrive through one of the hits of of Sword Car of Sirish. But still gets the air grab. Very good position for him. Also very close to active flow. So he gets back his burst very soon. And he spends it immediately to give him another shot in this round because with the meter I had I could have killed him. But yeah, my 2C interrupts his super and I win the round. So he in the end he wasted his burst. I don't get a punish on the comment grab, but getting out at the very least is always great. can just space him out with my giant C buttons and I'm in a good position good awareness from him jumping out sadly does not get any punish I was not ready for the counter hit so I went for the 2DA and he all fought the game and this is exactly why I nowadays capture the gameplay while I'm playing and not afterwards so next up I'm against Gura, Europe's strongest Tsubaki player, outside of Nesika of course, but comparing yourself to Nesika is never fair, because he plays every character, kinda, at least he also has a Kagura, so he's better than both of us, with both our characters. Let's see how this go. So essentially I'm using my usual game plan, but I have to be careful to not be too passive, because otherwise Tsubaki will be able to charge up the gorge next to her meter gorge or above her meter gorge and that would mean that she has enhanced specials which can really make it difficult playing against her. I said to drop the combo here because that would have been the round unless they burst but then I would have gotten the burst. Instead now they overdrive through my 2DA and really making me feel it. That's such a strong Tsubaki combo, almost corner to corner, 5.5k, but I still get a lucky 5c in, securing me the round. But still I have to be very careful about using 2da or any other drive in the corner, at least when they have overdrive, as the punishes are really big then, otherwise they don't hurt that much. Clip me with, one, with the overhead, with one of the overhead at 3k. Catch my roll, and this is something that you will see the entire set. They will catch my roll no matter what. Let their roll catches, unlike me. Putting me in the corner, just playing it safe, lots of 5a. Rapid cancelling their PP, make it safe, and just securing the round like that. I get a 2C clip because I went for a very risky option. Early burst, not a good one because it would not have been that much damage. I get a Fafnir, sadly the C version, the B version would have put me in a better situation. This time I get the B version but no pickup because on Tsubaki it apparently needs a micro dash which I'm not good at doing. It hits another, overdrives to another 2DA, Hydra and just gets, does the same combo again, this time does not even blue. No, it does not exactly do it again, but yeah. I get a lucky Wyvern hit, but uh, drops the combo and it costs me the game, which is always sad to see. It's not that the Wyvern failed me, I failed the Wyvern. I'm playing it safe with some orb pressure, nothing too special. 
still get a few hits in. Very unsafe with that one, but apparently they don't know that they can mesh low after 2 dB and there's nothing I can do about it. Unless of course I have Rapid cancelled. This looks like another round if I don't drop it, but I drop it again. I get a 5A, which got me in a good position, and I close out the round. <laughs> another very nice speed Fafnir. Still, again, I didn't get much of it. This time they didn't catch my roll, which is very nice for me. But they just run safe pressure while I do funky stuff like Ajidaha. But I still get lots of clips with my 2C, so I'm not complaining. Because I mistimed my comment grab, I got a purple grab instead, which they tagged out and then they reversed the situation. I got hit by the second hit for no reason. And ultimately what followed cost me the round. So this is potential last round of my tournament run. If they win this, if I win this, then this will go a little bit longer, at the very least. But it's not looking that good for me. And this is always the mark of a good player. Even if things look close in the end, they, ha they just know how to clutch it out. Why the more novice player tends to freak out and just do lots of predictable and unsafe stuff. Like this. And that's the game. I don't even need to confirm it with my own eyes because I've seen that they never dropped this combo before 4.9k damage. So yeah guys, and girls, and everything in between and beyond. This was my Salty U 49.9 run. Hope you enjoyed the ride. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Maybe even leave a comment. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. I always love feedback. If you still need more Blaze Blue, Make also sure to join the Hard Edge Discord to enter the Blaze Nui Weeklies on Wednesdays that is hosted by Maho. And maybe also try out some of the other weeklies you see on screen. And lastly, but not at least, join the Blaze Blue EU Open Regrown Discord for more Blaze Blue Weeklies and a monthly tournament. And with that said, enter the next Salty EU so we can see each other in tournament. Until then, Bye-bye.